On Friday, Turkish officials announced they had identified two of the three Istanbul Atatürk airport attackers. Both are believed to be ISIL members with Russian passports. In the meantime, authorities have stepped up their crackdown on ISIL in Istanbul. We're at Başakşehir, here, one of the districts in Istanbul where police carried out operations against ISIL. It was reported that 11 foreigners were detained on Friday in this area, which is only about 14 kilometers away from the Istanbul Atatürk airport. Many of the locals living here are against ISIL and emphasize its beliefs and actions don't suit Islam at all, as the terrorist group's name would suggest. These are not Muslims. Muslims don't behead people. There is no such thing. ISIL is something wrong. Muslims don't hurt Muslims. In fact, many point out ISIL only abuses religion. If you try to create an enemy, the easiest method is to use religion, because people are dependent on religions. If you show the other side as unbelievers, how they show it is a good deed to kill unbelievers. The timing of the airport attack came on the same day Turkey announced a decision to normalize ties with Israel and with Russia a point that did not go unnoticed by some Turkish residents. We, as Turkey, are in a serious struggle with terrorism. Yet, as people, we don't have an issue with anyone. Yet then, you suddenly see that just as you are about to normalize relations with your neighboring countries, an attack happens. It's been a challenging first half of the year for Turkey, which has endured a number of terrorist attacks, killing nearly 200 people. Nonetheless, the Atatürk airport has reopened and the country is preparing for a national holiday. Mihal Bardavid, CCTV, Istanbul.